Hi, it's Brad from WordPressSites.net. Uh, I'll just show you how to uh, how to download an FTP client, which you'll need if you want to upload uh, more than 50 meg of uh, files and uh, uh, website backup or blog backup to to a new host or a new domain. Uh, it's very very simple. There's the best. Uh, the best software to use for FTP is FileZilla, so I'll just show you how to quickly install that. Firstly, if you uh, if your full backup of your site or the full contents of your your site are under 50 meg, uh, you can use File Manager located inside your C panel, your Control Panel at, at your host. I use Bluehost. Um, uh, it'll it'll be under uh, files or file manager, so it's it's very very simple to do that. But if it's over 50 meg, you have to use FTP. FTP is a free uh, file transfer protocol um, client, and I've just gone into Google and put in FTP and come up here with file, FileZilla, which is the most popular uh, FTP client. So it's just a matter of downloading it. So you just click on download. And you've you come up with a few options here depending on what sort of server you're using, whether that's Windows, Linux, or, or, or Mac. So uh, you, you just need to click on the appropriate download there. Then it's just a matter of saving the uh, the file, so you can just easily uh, e easily save save that to your desktop. So just do that, and uh, the download will start shortly. You can see that's downloading now, so we'll just wait for that to finish, and then we'll uh, then we'll get it set up. That's finished now, so we'll just close that off, and we'll go and uh, have a look at the file on the desktop. So here it is on the desktop, FileZilla. So we'll just click on that and run it. Click yes, agree to the terms, and click next. Anyone next? Next, install. So we'll just wait for that to install. It's already finished now, so we click on finish. And this is your FTP client. It's very similar to File Manager, basically, but it's a lot more flexible. And you can uh, you can upload over 50 meg if your uh, your total website files and folders and all the contents are above 50 meg. You'll have to use FTP. The next step is you'll need to create an FTP user in your control panel at your host and uh, you'll have to get the uh, the host name and uh, you'll create a username and password as well so you'll need to create that in, in, in cPanel and that way we can connect uh, directly to the server so we can upload uh, you can upload your files and your, your full web, uh, website or blog backup uh, to your new domain or new host. I've just logged into my C panel, which is my control panel at Bluehost. I'm using Bluehost uh, to create a new FTP user. Just uh, just scroll down here to FTP accounts. Uh, might be in a different location if you're not using Bluehost, but basically uh, it's just a very simple procedure to do this. Uh, we just create a, a name here, so I'll just put in a, a username which I'm wanting to use, um, password as well, just put in a uh, password in there twice. And uh, make sure you use a strong password, this is a weak one, I'm just using this for uh, in for educational purposes but uh, click on uh, create FTP account I've already created one previously using that same username so it wouldn't let me do that again but uh, it'll work if it went when you do that and uh, here's the details of uh, my uh, my FTP account which I've uh, which I've created Okay, now you, you'll need to use these details when you log into your FTP account so you can upload all your files and folders. So here they are here, the server name's FTP here, and the username is here. Uh, use port 21 and just put in your password as well. So make sure you make a note of that, uh, the host uh, server name, the username and the password and keep them handy. I've just entered them in here already. Uh, put in port 21 and uh, click on uh, connect and uh, and I've logged in and that's all there is to it